Just a mic test, one, two, three. Okay, is it recording? Let me see. Yep. Hello, everyone. My name is Melvin, and I have this lady here. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Carmen. 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 <laughs> It's She's like a knock knock joke again. <laughs> oh yeah yeah, knock knock. <laughs> Who's there? Daisy. Daisy who? They see me rolling. Oh, yeah, I love that. Right? Oh, that is trending right now. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> okay, wasn't that funny the second time round? <laughs> yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'll present to you Carmen, Miss Carmen. She's from Cycle Hub PJ, yes. and she actually runs that shop. And there's not many female uh, bicycle shop runners around, I to guess, be honest. Yeah, I right? heard, yeah. So, but before we, we go to that, um, I want to let Carmen introduce herself. So, hi everyone, I'm Carmen. Uh, so, before cycling, I was actually running a restaurant uh, somewhere in Subang. Now, I'm running Cycle Hot PJ. I've only been running it for, I think, around eight, nine months. Until wow. now. Then, birthday party. Yeah. yeah. One year anniversary coming Yay. up. Um, yeah, um, why I decided to do it is actually a very interesting story. So I was actually offered to try and see if I could run a, a bike shop. I had actually zero knowledge about bicycles. I just know that they are on. They run on two wheels. That's all I knew before I actually uh, started running in the shop, started managing the shop. So I took it as a challenge. I thought, why not try something new, learn something new. So yeah, and then I started managing the shop and yeah. then then she she got into the community which is i think very important yeah so, right yeah about yeah. two months later i started cycling yeah, i loved it i remember like i think it was seven months ago i went to your shop yeah. and she was trying to learn how to fit in the bike tube yeah uh, right. bicycle tire into the bike i'm glad that I, I taught her something yeah he did he was I, like oh this is an easier way to do it i was like oh. here uh, you don't put here first one this one's the last one the reason why, right, is because of your tube is naturally inside here because of this valve. You should always do it from this angle here. So, when you put in, squeeze in from here, then slowly pull to the end there. Okay, now don't even need to do that. Then push down. Done. Wow. Done. Wow. Push all the way down, then you're good to go. Savong. I'm glad I contribute to your shop. You did, you did. <laughs> yeah, so, so that's the reason why I want to shout out uh, to Cycle Up PJ as well as Carmen. I think it's because um, if you notice, there are many COVID cyclists. A lot of people have quit cycling, yeah. slowed down, you know. And I think one of the things that you've been doing actively, I noticed, is number one, you've been actively doing group rides for newbie riders. Yeah. Tell me something <laughs> about that. What, what inspired you to do that? Well, I guess uh, being a newbie myself, I felt like it was very important to kickstart a lot of people to get into cycling. And I love it. It helps me de-stress in a lot of ways. So I thought that more people should know about it. And the only way is to constantly keep doing community rides and, you know, group cycles and make sure that everyone is in a safe space while they learn and they are new into this community. So yeah, that's the inspiration behind it. Yeah. Uh, being a newbie myself, like I felt like I wish that there were people who are more active in doing this. So I just took the matters to my own hand. And just Which did. is very good, by the way. I mean, kudos <laughs> to you. Kudos you. to Cycle Hub PJ because you. of you, there's a reason why people cycle. And because of you, people get to know other people, right? This is very important That's the because fun part. <laughs> cycling is not about the community anyway. Yeah. And if you ask me, I think one of the greatest success that you had in your shop that I noticed is because you are friendly generally and you are so you. approachable. And, and, and I heard some feedback of some of my friends who went to your shop is that Carmen does good follow up on bike related stuff. It does his best to serve the customers. And that's a testament to most, to other bike shops. Because to be honest, other bike shops are all about PL and they forget about the love of cycling. Oh, well, everyone focuses on different things. So yeah. She, uh, she did it right, in my point of view anyway. <laughs> and I think right now, uh, officially, you are a cyc cycling addict. I would because say so, yeah. <laughs> how, how, how many times do you cycle in a week? I used to, so before I got busy, I used to cycle about four times a week at least. Yeah, in the morning nice. before we go to work. 
yeah. that's crazy. Cycle with my current mechanic. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, and now? Now I do at least like once a week if I can. But okay. because we're busy with a lot of rides, so then I have to kind of sacrifice my cycling time a bit. But I am getting a trainer soon. Yeah, trainer. Indoor cycling now. Indoor training <laughs> is so boring, but it's a lifesaver. Yeah. And okay, so I have one thing that I noticed that you initiated, and it's the first time I've seen it by any other bike shop. This is. Um, I saw your Instagram posting, check it out here. Right, I'm going to show the screen here. And then you posted that um, if anyone wants to try cycling in a group, you are actually loaning them a bike to join you. Is that true? Yeah, so yeah, we're, we're trying something new. So like you said, you know, a lot of newbies need a lot of encouragement to come into this community. So we thought that what was the way for people to not commit to a bike, but also get to cycle along and try out the, the sport. So we're renting out bicycles. Yeah, yeah that, that's wonderful. I think that's just lovely. This is a lot of people do message me about bike rentals because yeah. a lot of people from Singapore or from outstation Pahang or whatever, when they come down here, they might want to just ride. Yeah. And surprisingly, you're right. Not to say surprisingly, uh, you're right. Uh, for people from Singapore come, for people from Pahang come. Okay. How many people come today, I think? Uh, I think about 100, 30, 140. I think easily 150, easily. <laughs> and I think it's one of your most successful events. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, tell me about your shop. What, uh, what brands does your shop carry and you know, what, what service do you do? Yep. So currently, our shop carries uh, entry-level bikes. Um, the main one would be Alcott and then there's Kespo as well. But we're also looking to change, change things up a bit. So, um, but we don't know what brand we're bringing in yet. Um, other than whole bikes, we also do mechanical services. So we have, if your bike needs like uh, fixing or changing tires or upgrades, we do that as well. And we do sell bike baju in our shop. <laughs> bike baju. <laughs> so yeah, we, we sell bike baju in the shop. I'm going to show you some clip of the shops, how the shop look like, and I'm also put in the description where the shop is. If everybody's in PJ, and even though you're not going to buy anything, just go say hi to Carmen because she's such a lovely person Hello. in the cycling community. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. <laughs> um, can you show me? Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, but can you show me some of your e bikes? I noticed there's some e bikes, and some of my uh, subscribers did ask about e bikes. Okay. How much is it? It's currently only 2000. Okay. Yeah, It's a motorized bike, so you can pedal or you can actually just run it based on, just run it on the motor. Let me show you. Like a motorbike? Yeah, like a motorbike. I need this in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it is it is quite heavy though, but I mean if you have the motor oh, you don't. How many km? Oh so it can go up to 60 to 80 kilometers with the battery, full battery. Wow. And um, with the fastest speed is 25 km an hour because of our legality yeah. in Malaysia, apparently. <laughs> Not that so, yeah. uh, longest distance? 60 to 80 km. Yeah. So, we also have road bikes and they're all entry level. Uh, our main brand is Alcott. Um, these ones are currently ranging only from three th about 4,000 to 6,000. Yeah, and they're all very easy to ride, great for beginners. I personally ride an Alcott. The model that I'm riding is actually that bike over there, this one. So yeah, so it's um, pretty affordable. Um, there are other type of payment plans that you can use if you feel like it's too hefty. Um, we have Aeon loans, we have Chai Lee, J JCL, um, JLC, sorry. And um, we have Maybank credit card installments as well, public bank credit card installments as well. Um, there's many ways that you can. Um, so, so let's say, for example, the Alcott, right? Uh, let's say you talk about 12 months installment plan. How much does the person need to pay every month? Um, roughly around uh, 12 months. Uh. Roughly around two, three hundred bucks. Okay, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. I, I need to double check because sometimes they have promotions as well, yeah. so it could be cheaper. Okay. Yeah. Well, how about your mountain bikes? Our mountain bikes. Our mountain bikes are the very basic ones. Um, they're good for people who are a bit scared to use like uh, a drop bar. So these ones are, uh, they're a bit heavy, but then they're very steady on the road as well because they have very thick tires. So if you're looking to start um, cycling, and you don't feel like using such thin tires, you can go for a mountain bike. Um, and it's easy on it's easier on the road in, uh, in a sense where like if you meet a hole, you can just go through. <laughs> there are there. many holes in Malaysia <laughs> la. You can just go straight through them, you don't have to like kind of avoid them. So they're pretty steady. 
So, welcome to our accessory part. We don't have a lot yet, but we're expanding for sure. Um, we have knockoff products, we have candle tubes, good heel tires, continental tires. We're restocking, that's why it's empty. <laughs> and then we also have um, some work bar tapes, cyclovation bar tapes, looking to expand more in terms of like varieties for you guys, because I know a lot of customers are looking for many different kinds of colors and stuff like that as well. Um, and our new section, the nutrition section, because <laughs> you need to get yourself hydrated. <laughs> So yeah, we found that it's quite important to have some of these in the shop as well because a lot of um, friends, customers are looking for um, something that can keep them going all this time. And also because the event is starting, so yeah, this one can sell. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's, it's quite an okay range. Um, we're also looking to expand a few more. We have Salt Stick and Coda at the moment. Um, trying to get a, little, a few more brands in so that like we can cater to runners and swimmers as well. Um, people who do triathlons. Yeah. Uh, I noticed one thing, which is the um, I saw the traveling case. I know some of my subscribers did ask about traveling case. So, Ta -da! these are pretty good for um, traveling. How much is it? Okay. It's around um, now. It was three thousand plus. Now it's around less than three thousand. Two thousand plus. Come here for for final price checking. <laughs> we have um, three main brands at the moment. Currently, we have Crank. So this whole shelf is full of like, Crank helmets and also glasses. And then we have HJC as well. We're restocking some of the HJC colors. Um, you can also pre order. Um, we just don't stock up that much at the moment because we're a very small shop. And we also have Underbar, which is a sub brand from Crank. Yeah, they're all from Korea. And the best thing is. Ta da! <laughs> Bike Badger jerseys. We have all the designs and we try to stock up every single size, but we only do one piece per size, per design for now um, because it's a, a whole lot of stock to stock up um, but yeah, you can come in and try all the designs that you like and um, if there's a size or a, a yeah, if there's a specific size that we don't have we can just pre-order them for you and we can get it quite quickly I love your photo wall Thank you! We love it too! <laughs> we have a lot more to add we try to make a heart shape out of it <laughs> Yeah, so um, these are actually all the people that have come to the ride and these are actually, you know, the yeah, all our customers who bought bikes from us and then who cycled from complete beginners and some of them are now extremely strong riders as well so it's such a happy thing to see and we, we like seeing them like, you know, progressing um, from someone who doesn't know how to cycle to someone who like constantly is looking for rides to go to and staying on the road and that's what we want Correct? <laughs> we want people to stay on roads, stay on bikes. Okay. See you guys. I hope you guys will come and visit the little humble shop. Um, and probably get your photo on the wall one day. <laughs> and I think that's about it. Yeah. Right? Anything you want to say to everyone? Well, try cycling. It's good for you. Ah, it's important, important. <laughs> important. Many people messaged me and said that they are quitting cycling because they lost the mood and this and that. What's your advice to all of them? Uh, well, this is also a problem that I've been seeing. Don't quit. Um, at the very least, now you know a space for you to come to continue cycling. What's the reason you're quitting? If you're quitting because you couldn't find a group to cycle with, you can try to come and join our social rides once or twice and see if you like it. You might find other people that you can cycle with and you can go on and cycle with them. So that's the whole reason why the social ride was created. Yes. So that you can meet people and connect with people and have your own group. So don't quit cycling! Cycling is so good! Cycling is so fun! Yeah, so, so I stick back to my main core philosophy about cycling and the community is bike shops are the foundation of cycling community. Why? It's because bike shop is where random people of all walks of life come to one place to buy something and when that bike shop organise a ride, they get together and they make new friends. This is how cycling groups are created in a way. Right, so support your local bike shop. Feel free to buy online, but don't buy from overseas seller. That's all I want to say. Local <laughs> seller support. Support us. Thank you, Carmen, and thank you so much on behalf of all the cycling community. You are doing an awesome job. Thank you so much for the interview. Bye. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, say like, share, subscribe. Oh, like, share, and subscribe. And go to her shop. <laughs> <laughs> Follow <on> YouTube. <laughs>